them and how to learn them so it's gonna be really easy there are six layers as you can see here and we're gonna start off with the first layer which is the skin as you can see i've kind of color coded it so i've got the skin and the tunica vaginalis in orange the muscles in pink and the fascias in yellow so it's easier for you to understand so we're gonna start off first the first layer from outside towards inside so in this direction um it is we have the skin then we have the dartos muscle and the superficial fascia. Then we have the external spermatic fascia. Then we have the cremasteric muscle, uh, internal uh, spermatic fascia, and tunica vaginalis. So you write these down. And how do you remember um, where these arise from? So it's really easy. The external spermatic fascia um, arises from the external oblique muscle um and the cremasteric muscle arises from the internal oblique muscle and the internal spermatic fascia arises from the fascia transversalis so as you can see we have the external oblique internal oblique and the fascia transversalis so E I T. You just remember this. You can just write it down in this direction, and hopefully, you will remember where these arise from. Um, then we have the tunica vaginalis, which is just a remnant of the peritoneum, and these are just the layers of the scrotum. Now, how do you remember the coverings of the spermatic cord? You just go this way, okay? So the same layers of the scrotum are the layers of the spermatic cord from, so just these four layers, the bottom four. So that is how you remember the layers of the spermatic cord. Add the contents of the spermatic cord. So it's really, really easy. Um, we're going to follow the rule of three. Um, and what that is, is that just follow through and I'll tell you what we have to do. So, first of all, we have three fascias. Okay. So, the three fascias that we have are the external spermatic fascia and the internal spermatic fascia. And in between those we have the cremasteric fascia, okay? Easy enough, following me? Okay, then we have three arteries, okay? So we have the testicular artery, cremasteric artery, and the differential artery from vas deferens. So it's not a new word. Then we have three veins. Uh, which are the same as the above, so testicular, cremasteric, differential veins. We also have the pampiniform plexus, and what that is, it is a network of veins that drain the testes, okay? And, oh, I should have used purple for the nerves. I should have used yellow for the nerves. Anyways, then we have three nerves, okay? So we have ilioinguinal, genital branch of the genital femoral nerve, and the sympathetic nerves. Okay, and then we have some structures inside it, just like lymphs and your vas deferens, but that is not really important. But that is basically um, the contents of the spermatic cord. So I hope this was easy to understand, and please like and subscribe and share, and let me know what kind of videos you want to watch, and um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!